Uh, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, so I figured I'd do a little bit of work out here on the 252 and show you. Remember last time I used an induction heater to get off the bolts. Today we're going to use a torch. Now we use a rosebud. Some people don't know what I'm talking about, whatever. But or, or a cutting torch that I don't press the switch on. If you don't know what cutting torch is, look it up on YouTube. You'll see some videos. Or what I use also in my shop, I have a cutting torch too, and I have a rosebud tip to heat. But I love using this torch here, and it's it's also it's known as a cobra torch, uh, a hen rod, or I think an eight C something something. It's changed names through the years. It uses an extremely small amount of oxyacetylene, okay, and um, so your bottles last a long time. I've got a set of small bottles here of acetylene and oxygen, and they actually came from my uncle and my dad from a long time ago, and they're sentimental to me, so I keep them, and I bought this torch a long time ago, and I could do really small sheet metal with it, and that's why I bought it instead of taking or migging sometimes. And I, I do use the mig a lot, all right? I'm not a big time, I don't like stick welding. My brother's a stick welding guy, but I'm really not a stick welder. If something needs to be stick welding, I'll call him and he'll take care of it. Or I got some other guys. Anyway, what if you do have one of these torches, you see these, I don't know if you can see them, there's three lines on this. This, this one here is for thicker metal and for heating or, or um, heating up cast iron if you're going to weld it. That's another reason I have this torch is it could do a lot of specialty stuff, you know, fixing old uh, exhaust manifolds, things like that. I'm not an expert with this torch. There's plenty of guys on YouTube that are fantastic with this torch. But in the last video, I showed you I used the induction, magnetic induction heater to get off these bolts. So I wanted to see, um, try my torch. See if I uh, heat them up that way. But if you are going to do it, you need to know something, okay? Uh, I'll show you here. This only uses uh, four to five pounds of acetylene. And it uses a small amount of oxygen. So I'll start this up. i got to put a glove on because when you're heating stuff up, it gets hot. So bear with me here. And I'll reset the set camera so you can see down here a little bit better like we did last time. Okay, let me see here. I don't know if you can see it when I heat it up. Hold on a minute. All right, I'm going to light this torch and see if I can't do this without a glove on one hand. All right. It's a little loud. Alright, we need pockets, alright? This is what I want you to do. You need to know this. This is the part that your socket goes into. I want you to heat that up. And I want you to heat it up really well and go all around the outside edges. I know it's hard to see that the torch is flat. But we're going to go all around these outside edges. Because that's where your season will happen, right? The water, the raw salt, but there's a little bit of an air gap that goes through there. Right? So you're going to heat that up really well on this side. And then on the other side, you're going to come across. That's where the bolt went in. The other side is the thread side, as you can see. I need you to heat that side up really, really well. Some of you, all the guys are going to sit there and laugh and say, well, who wouldn't know this? You just a young guy or somebody that's just getting into tools, all right? Or you got this machine. Any stump grinder. Now, you can remember, I showed you another video on how to cut them off. You can cut them off with a half, four and a half inch uh, hand grinder with a cutoff wheel on it. But you lose the pockets. I'm trying to save the pockets and trying to save the bolts. So I heat this side up cherry red, I come back on this side, and I come back around where the bolt fits into the socket. Alright? Now I preheat this once already. 
Pay attention one more time. I'm not trying to melt any metal or anything. I'm just trying to get this nice, almost to a cherry hot. Okay? When you see it red, cherry red, you know you're there, baby. You know you're there. And then he also heat up the inside of the shop. Okay? Oh. And this, you shut off your oxygen first. See, you got your flame now. Shut off the acetylene. That's all. Sometimes if you made a mistake, uh, cut the wrong one off, you hear a pop, all right? Now, this is called the number three tip. Number three tips, you don't get it all the way up to where it's blowing back on itself. You keep it a little bit out because they tend to pop, all right? Like you're trying to hit your pop and you're scared of crap out of here, all right? But don't panic. All right, so that's heated up. Now, we know that all this is really hot. Oh, let me show you my vice. Not my, not my vice on my bench. I don't drink coffee, all right? So, uh, this is my vice. Grape flavored Kickstarters. I know they're bad for you. I have one in the morning instead of a cup of coffee. And then today, I didn't sleep well last night, so well, I had a lot of stuff going on, trying to finish up. We got a big storm coming. I mean, a cold front from hell can drop down to 12 degrees. It's I got the door open in my shop. It's like 60 out, and we can drop to 12 or 15 uh, tomorrow, on New Year's Day. That's my wedding anniversary, too. All right? So, this is my only vice, the Mountain Dew Grape Kickstarter. I'm not a drinker. I'm not a beer drinker. If I have a beer, I have one beer with a pizza. All right? And that's with my brother. and, and um, That's just me or a glass of red wine with dinner, one glass. And... This is my no-no. Here's another thing. For some reason, there's a freaking shortage of this thing. I went to every convenience store in my town last week, couldn't find one. I was like a crack addict. So you know what I had to do? I had to go on Amazon. In order to Kickstarter on Amazon. I had to wait two days, but I thought Santa Claus came and visited me when they brought me a, a case of Kickstarter. Anyway, so now you know one of my weaknesses, Kickstarter. All right. Well, that's cooling down that he had the expansion and contraction, right? So, this is hot as hell. So, I'm going to flip this in here. All right. Well, remember, right? Righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? So, when you're on this other side, you get confused. You remember to it'll be this way to tighten that way to loosen. So, right, lefty loosey. Will it work? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. So, the pocket's moving a little bit. And we know it is. So, we have to take a pin here. Because I'm going to show you. Because I took the other bolt out. With the induction heater. That way, put this back. So, we're going to get this out. We know we busted it loose. So, it works by heating it. Uh, how do you like that? Find a pinhole here, and it's hotter than. Oh boy, it's hot out here. Right. So it'll come off now. I'll get this off. I'm not going to bore you, but I'm going to show you some. After this is off, I'm going to compare the 900 pocket to the Vermeer. Okay, these are yellow jackets. So you can go on my other video, and it'll show you how to properly space it to do an upgrade using the Vermeer teeth. And pockets. What I'm doing on this machine now is I'm switching it over to the 900 series from Green Teeth. And I'm going to show you why as far as profile, right? So hang with me. Let me shut this off. I'll be right back. Alright. Pocket came right off. The bolt is actually saved. It's worn. But if you're doing this at home, you got to get them off. That's another option you got is heating them up with a torch, okay? Remember, when you're heating them up with the torch, you just get them glowing red, and you got to heat both sides, the socket size and side and the thread side, and then give it a few minutes to cool, start cooling down. So the metal expands when you heat it, and then it starts to contract as the heat's pulling away. That's how it's busting its way out of the threads. Now, I'm going to turn this around and show you something, because some of you guys like the um, Vermeer 
yellow jackets, which is fine. Hey, that's a cutting system you like. On this machine, remember, we reduced the amount of pockets and teeth. The machine has less load on it, and it's called an upgrade. Okay, a lot of guys do it. And so I showed you that in the video, how to space them properly and everything. Now, when you're taking this apart, like you're upgrading from, let's say you're going to go from the yellow jackets to the greens, you already got it properly spaced, right? Take off one set at a time, replace one set at a time. Don't take them all off and then go, oh God, where was it that I had them? Or if you do, make sure you mark the locations. That way it's bam, 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 you get it done fast. So let me turn this around. I want to show you some why I suggest or I like going to the 900 series, not 700, the 900 series on this machine. Let me turn it around. All right. This is an old pocket and tooth. I just put it up here as an example because I got brand new ones in a box that I got to change out. Okay. So this is the green teeth pocket. All right, and it's flippable like this side here could go on the other side and then there's the tooth It's the old tooth on this. I just put it up here for demo Okay, but the reason why I put it up here for demo now here is a yellow jacket system the Vermeer system Very solid very strong system But the reason why you'll cut more aggressive with it Come around here. I don't want you to, it's very hard to tell by the video But let me see maybe this might give you a better thing we're dead even here. The green, me find here, sticks out further. All right? This sticks out more. Let me turn this off a minute, get a rule, and we'll see. All right. I found a better view for us. This is just a paint paddle stick, one inch. This is the Vermeer. This is the green, 900, going straight across. Look. See? And I measured it, it's almost three quarters of an inch more pronounced sticking out away from this wheel so it is going to give you more aggressive of a cut and your wheel is not going to wear out as much either all right because this is keeping the wood away from the wheel so you see it there all right all right i don't know if anybody's ever told you that or gave you that information so now you got it for free somebody will tell me i'm number one i'm sure huh I gotta tell you something, it's been a great year with you guys. My son's doing fantastic. Sherman's running really well. We got bad weather coming in. We've had a, a December to, I don't know about this weather, man. I don't know where you guys are out in the United States or around the world, but our weather here, it stayed 60, 70 degrees. Starting off the mornings at 50, 48. We've been busy as I don't know what. Uh, I'm blessed. And I'm also blessed to have you guys, and I want to pass it on to you guys. All right? So, a little bit of knowledge. So, if you get yourself, this is a 252, this is the upgrade. I'll change out all the teeth. Well, I'm not going to do it today. I'll, I'll start on this, but for Pete's sake, it's New Year's Eve. So, I'm going to go inside, clean up, and take a shower, spend time with the family. Well, it's time with the wife because tomorrow is New Year's Day. It's my wedding anniversary, and if I don't do that, I'm in dippity doo dah land. Um, one more thing: there's going to be another giveaway for a piece of art, another piece of artwork. The vampire guy I started a long time ago. I never finished it. Well, I'm going to finish it, and then I'm going to give it away, just like I gave away to Popeye. There'll be another one, and I'll put that up next week of me uh, starting to finish stuff on it and talk about it and start to give away stuff. And anyway, that's just my way of giving back for you guys. have been fantastic to me. God bless you. And one more thing. I know some guys say I talk a lot, but one more thing. At the end of last one, I talked about um, $38,000 making up to there. This time I want to tell you this. If you've had a bad year or, you know, you just got out of military or you just had a bad year, okay, tomorrow's a fresh start. All right. And if your finances suck, it's time for, for you to pull your head out, all right? If you can't handle it, take a class, Dave Ramsey, it's, I mean, it's, it's the only thing that's going to change your life. It's not how much you make, it's how much you spend, okay? Remember that. I, I know plenty of doctors, lawyers, all those people that are broke, 
making two hundred fifty thousand or more a year and broke. And um, because it's like I say, it's not how much you make; it's how much you spend. And remember something: if you're not learning something new every day, you must be dead. All right. So I know you're not dead. And one more thing to another guy. All right. If you happen to have been a felon and you're getting out and you got a fresh start, most likely you're going to have a hard time getting a job. Uh, you know what? It's, it's, it's a tag on you for something that you did. I know everybody deserves to start fresh, and, all right? But it's okay. Say if you were a felon and you're leading a straight, narrow life now, you got to be your own businessman then, because no one can not hire you. You're, you're the boss, okay? So, learn a trade. If there's any programs out there that allow you to learn a trade and to help you go to classes, go to classes. College isn't really the, the answer nowadays, especially if you happen to have prior convictions. Or, let's just say you were born on the wrong side of the tracks, all right? So, pull your head out. Adapt, overcome, and we'll see you next week. God loves you.